Well, here it is, my One Way 1224. In this video, I'm going to show you the unboxing, and in part two, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on the operation of this lathe, so stay tuned. I hear a semi driving up. Well, thanks to my friend Jason, he makes easy work of moving this big box off his semi and into my shop. Jason has uh, delivered many, many tools to me over the years, and I really appreciate that. Well, there it is, my one-way 1224. Let's take a look at this. Uh, let's open this baby up and peek inside. And Jason is just as curious as I am. Now, I'm not sure how this lathe could be damaged at all, the way this box is bolted and screwed to the base, which is made up of a number of 2x4s. But it's very easily taken apart, and you simply lift the big cardboard box off the machine. Very heavy duty piece of cardboard there. Well, they said a little over two months, and it's been two months and about a week. But I've been waiting for my one-way 1224. It's really pretty. Now, it's pretty much all set up. I'm not sure what isn't set up, the electronics, the motor, that sort of thing. So when I ordered this, I was a little curious as to how it would arrive, what condition, what did I have to put together. Well, the base is all connected, which is very nice. It came in one shipping container. As you can see, and I've got a very good uh, freight driver in Jason that just backs up to my shop with this enormous semi and somehow maneuvers it in here and just takes his, his hand truck and puts it right here, which is awesome. So I'm going to give you a little bit closer view of the bottom of this where all the parts are in there and we'll see what uh, we have to put together. Now you're looking at the front view of the lathe. The lower cabinet has two plywood shelves. And I'm going to give you a close-up of all the components that are underneath. And they were all secured nicely with some bubble wrap and staples. And from the motor up to the spindle is uh, a belt. And I'm going to read the manual carefully and I'll give you another video on the operation of this one-way 1224 lathe. Let's take a look at some of the components. Okay, right here you're looking at the on-off switch, the reverse control unit. And you'll get another view of that after I attach that. Variable speed dial. And there's a shot of the extension cord. And this is all connected to the uh, on-off switch control unit and there is a plate that will attach in the back of the lathe. Now directly above the lower shelf is the converter control unit. I'm not exactly sure what they call that. Um, I'm sure that's been set up at the factory. And here's the on-off switch for the unit. Okay, here's a shot of the motor which is bolted directly below the platform the lathe sits on. There's the adjustment lever for changing your belts. There are two belts to this lathe. Now I have the on-off control unit and the power cord threaded through the back of the lathe. That will bolt on there with the plate I showed you before. And I'll show you a shot of that when I get that attached later on. Now the remainder of what I need to look into are some components that uh, I need to put together. Some nuts and bolts kind of things. I've got the manual that I gotta sit down and read a little bit and really figure out what I'm gonna do before I plug this machine in. So let me give you a close up. Now looking at the contents of this box that came with the lathe is number two Morse taper, live center. And that's a fine tool. I've got one already, but now I've got two. Now that's a dandy. 
And we'll set that aside. Now there are a couple pieces inside here that I'm really not sure what they go to. Here's a little Tommy bar. I'm sure that's for uh, the face plate. You can see that. Here's a knockout bar. Now I initially thought this was a tail center of some sort, and it's actually a driver. There's no spur drive with this lathe, but this is a safety driver that actually drives a piece of wood, a spindle, between centers. And that's got a retractable point on it, which is very nice. There's an Allen wrench, and another Allen wrench. I'm not sure what to go to. And I've got four plates in here. Look like they're uh, pretty heavy duty steel plates. Don't know where they go. Now I have not read the manual to this point, but I'm pretty sure these four metal plates are for leveling the machine after I get it set up. Then I've got what appears to be a spanner. A spanner wrench. I'm going to go look at the manual and I will get back to you. Now I'm focused in on one of the corners of the lathe and what you're looking at I'm unscrewing a nut from a threaded bolt and here I'm just taking out a lag screw that attaches the lathe to the framework for shipping and I'm pretty sure that threaded bolt which you can adjust with an allen wrench has something to do with leveling the machine after it's in place Now, please be on the lookout for part two of this video series on the one-way lathe. In the second video, I will cover in depth the operation of this lathe and try to give you an idea of what this lathe is like, its similarities, and how it is not similar to a lot of other lathes. There are some things that are a little bit unique to this very fine machine. So thank you very much for tuning in, and I will talk to you next time.